Fallout 4, Episode 34, The Disappearing Act. On our way back to Diamond City, Nick receives two new cases from his secretary, Ellie Perkins, one in Diamond City and another in Good Neighbor. Nick tells me to go on ahead to Diamond City while he heads to Good Neighbor. Nick sends me directions to the Dugout Inn for a missing persons case in Diamond City. Ah, it is the savior of Diamond City Radio. Have a drink, friend. And what a lame title. Earl Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. Such a good bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here, I hope you find out what happened. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about it. I got a bar to run. Let me know if you want something. You staying out of trouble? <laughs> you are checking up on me? I love it. Do not worry. I have cut ties with anyone who might try to kill me over debts. All is well, friend. Relax. Sure. Let's take a look. Not to bias you, but everything's delicious. Barbara's Pets Moonshine, Melon, Nukapaka, Wine. Nothing really to sell. I know I have too many stim packs. Might as well sell those. Four? Four? Four. Alright, might as well ask about any people working here. Maybe they know something about Earl Sterling. Whatever you want, pen. I ain't got time. Just buy or sell whatever you need and get lost. Hey, I'm Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Happy to share the benefit of my experience. As long as you don't mind me glossing over all the embarrassing parts, you know. Embarrassing parts? How about ruins? So you explore old ruins? Last place I was going to check out was Salem. Real old town far to the north. Never made it, though. Got a bad feeling about that area. See you around, Hawthorne. Later. Salem was a bloody nightmare. Ahem. Especially when they came to finding out that there was a fucking death claw in there. Oh, God. Oh, whatever. What's in this room? Uh, must be Valum's room. Yep. Bad image. I'll take your order whenever you're ready. Did you work with Earl Sterling at all? Oh, yeah, Earl. Ugh. I mean, I know I shouldn't speak ill of the missing, but that guy needed to get out more. You'd think a bartender would be eh, smooth, you know? Charming? Not Earl. He tried so hard, too. Way too hard. The real sad thing? He thought it was his looks. Kept talking about getting a new face over at the mega surgery. Wouldn't have helped. Uh, anyway, I gotta get back to serving drinks. Just looking. Take your time. Oh, there's Cosworth. Maybe I'll ask him to come with me. I wonder what the hell he's doing in the dugout. Probably talking to the other Mr. Handys that are around. Oh, um, whatever it is, keep it to yourself. Better that, that article in the public need is a right. room? The McDonough. Uh, what if he is? Hey, hey, enough of that. Look. Did you know Earl Sterling? Off, One of my time. brother's old friends. Oh, boy. The way those two would go on about girls, you'd think Vadim is loud now. Earl was a horrible womanizer, and I warned him more than once to leave the staff and customers alone, but my brother always stood up for him. Honestly, kinda glad he's gone. Wouldn't shut up about the new face he was going to get at the mega surgery center. Vain till the end. Anyway, did you want a room? No, I'm good. So, how's business? Nothing I'd want to talk about. Not interested. Have a good day.
With Earl's house key and information from the dugout staff, I explored his home for any clues connecting him to the Mega Surgical Center. About an hour in, I found a receipt for a prepaid surgical procedure signed by a Dr. Crocker for a 10 a.m. appointment. I dashed out the house for the Mega Surgical Center, for it's 5 p.m. now. Hey, Doc. This better be an emergency. Check in with Doc Crocker. Where is Doc Crocker? Last time I saw him, he had to get something out of the surgery cellar. Probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around. Now, I must insist we talk about your medical needs. Must be cleaning the murder weapons. I need to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? Uh, you know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? Investigating a case? I'm investigating a missing person, Doctor. And I... I think the trail leads to your basement. A missing person? You're talking about Earl, aren't you? You can't honestly think... You know what? Fine. If it'll put the matter to rest. Here. Go see for yourself. But if I find one instrument out of place, you'll be getting the bill. Got too much dirt in that hair? Get it trimmed. You won't regret it. Don't let the stress of life kill you. Relax with some cams. Where'd all this blood come from? It goes right into the basement. Oh boy. And our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. Jesus, man, calm down. Take it easy, Doc. Let's talk about Earl. I didn't mean to do it. You have to believe me. Doc Crocker is a brilliant surgeon. No one dies under his care. No one dies. They just walk away happy. Happy with my work. Happy with their new face. Not screaming. Not bleeding out onto the floor. Earl, he... He just didn't want to be happy. That must have been it. You made a mistake. You can still do the right thing, Doctor. Just think this through. Please, Doctor. There's no need for anyone to get hurt here, yourself included. You're... You're right. There's one thing I can do. Only one thing is going to make this all better. I can fix... anything. Um, okay. What's going on here? Is... is that Dr. Crocker? I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Uh, might as well be honest here. Don't want to get a wrong impression. Doc Crocker killed Earl Sterling. I found out, and then he killed himself. Guess he couldn't handle the guilt. Dr. Crocker killed Earl? The... the facial reconstruction. So, he really did go through with it. That explains a lot more than I'm comfortable with. Dr. Crocker always cared about his reputation, but this, this is inhuman. What now? What are you going to do now, Doctor? Now? Now, I have a report to file, a mess to clean up, and a lot of explanations to give to our patients. You should get going. A medical professional should be the one to handle all this contamination. Some people just cannot live up to the consequences of their actions. Hey. Sir. Codsworth. Another is already in the works. Your thoughts? What do you call two crows on a branch? Okay. Not what I was expecting. I was hoping that we were going to have a good conversation here, Codsworth. Beat it. I'm not supposed to talk to people I don't know. I ain't your friend, Scabber. Hey there, mister. That kid's creepy. That's a creepy voice. You know what? I thought I could do a proper arrest, but no, he had to go kill himself. Where was my handcuffs anyways? Was I just gonna have Cosworth hold him down? Uh, oops. Um, okay. Okay, why did I pick this up with two hands? Okay. 
Let go. Let go of the left hand. Why can't I let go of this? A cause with help. Help. Goddamn. Okay, whatever. So, you find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? How many people missed him? Can you recap me why I had to look for Earl? Why was I looking for Earl Sterling again? Well, to help the folks down at the dugout end get some closure about their friend, for one. That, plus a pile of caps when it's all said and done. Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the Doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. I found out where he was, what he did, and apparently he killed himself. Crocker killed himself. He couldn't take the guilt. Goodness. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout in know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. Miss Perkins. Guess it's good I never visited Doc Crocker to get that touch-up I'd been thinking about. We're open for business again. Thanks so much for all your help.